everybody. Uh, last session, I was explaining about um, a type of gridding process that I do. A lot of times people will use the grids and, and they'll actually line their canvas with lines, inch, half inch lines going down and across. Um, but some people don't want to go through that work. So uh, they'll use parts of the, the, the piece that they're using as a reference and, um, and then kind of take like areas. And this is what I was explaining in session two. You can go back and look at that video um, under oil painting with Carrie session two. Taking uh, certain areas of your, of your, um, your inspiration and reproducing it onto the canvas. So I was showing you where in relation the foot was, this foot here to the edge of her dress and where the ruffles were on the dress down here. So what I do is I do what, what I call markings and I marked here and here and here and here the edges of the dress. So if you look at the photograph next to my markings, you'll see that it is starting to look like those two tea dresses. What I have on my palette here is still the same colors by Winsor Newton, but I did add titanium or is it zinc white? This one is zinc white by Winsor Newton. So we have our colors here. And I was explaining in, in the first video why I like these colors so much. This is the flesh tint and it's a pink. We use this a lot for portrait, for flesh, for, for flesh tones on faces. And it can be mixed with different colors for various color, colored, um, colored skins. I'm also using Naples yellow. And then the olive green. So those are the colors that I am trying to like stay with in the beginning of, of this piece. And then later on, as I work into more of the detail, I'll be adding more colors and I will be showing you guys that as I, as we go along. So for here, I'm what we're, I'm, we're going to check the work from last time. Um, and on my brush right now, I have a little bit of zinc a bit of a zinc white and let's pull up I have this little container and I have a little linseed oil in the container and you see I, I have a little bit of the um, the the Naples yellow in there um, so I'm just there's a little bit of white on my brush and that's okay um, it's gonna work well with what I'm gonna be doing next so I'm still looking at the ruffles as my guide and I'm going to be adding a little bit more white and in here, right in here, there's like this ruffle that like looks like a wave, like an ocean wave. So I'm going to like spot put this in here. And also make the, push it up. And I'm running the white paint up this one edge here, blending it in as I go. And then right in here, I see a nice nice white color. So I'm gonna blend this in here and then have it come down as a crease, like it's showing on here on the photograph. 
And remember, I'm using that white, that black and white photograph. It's more of a stepia, so the colors are more on the warm side. So as I bring color into it, it'll brighten up the painting. But as I was saying, I love the the soft dewiness of the composition of this of this piece. It's I when I would uh, when you use film photography from an analog camera, um, I used to love to get the portrait, um, the portrait film. And when you do portrait film versus digital, um, you get those pinky tones, those, those whites and pinky tones and softness, which is unlike any digital camera that we use today. There's just nothing like it. This particular painting, uh, that is what I would like to achieve. So we'll see how it goes. You know, with, with every art piece that you do, you have intentions and then you have the final result. And sometimes we call them happy mistakes. <laughs> so you just, Sometimes the painting wants to be something else and it takes on a life of its own. All right, I have a little bit of artesian um, medium mixed in over on my palette. Um, it's a fast drying medium and I'm mixing it a little bit with the linseed oil. Um, And the Artesian is by Windsor Newton too. Um, just don't ever take the, the Artesian and then go put linseed oil back on top of it after it's dried, it will lift it. It will lift your paint. And so having it mixed in like this, so it will be okay. Is it should have enough of the um, linseed oil in with the Artesian where it shouldn't, it shouldn't do any lifting. What it does do though, the artesian, let me get the bottle so you can see what it is. This is artesian. It's a fast dry medium. If you're gonna use this, you're gonna wanna use it um, over your linseed oil or it could be mixed in a little bit. I just have some in here with my whites, so I'm gonna use it. Just don't ever go over, <laughs> don't put linseed oil over it because what's gonna happen is linseed oil is just gonna pick it up and you're gonna have lifting happening. So that I have done in the past. You learn quick. But what I do like about the Artesian is that it immediately has this really beautiful gloss. So. All right. We have. Back in here, there is a nice white line where the edge of her dress is reflecting. So we are going to put this in like this and it kind of, her, her dress flares out just a little bit and then comes back in again. And these, uh, these ruffles like wrap around. So I would like to get that illusion of them wrapping around and and 
lifting up these lines. And I want these uh, ruffles to be pretty pronounced. Now later on, I can go back and I can even build on these even more. I'm just taking the color and I'm just gently brushing the color upwards and upwards motion and it's going to start to give me those creases in the ruffles and then her in her skirt up here she has three ruffles so how Far do I want those ruffles to come down? It's going to be at the start again. Remember I told you guys about this gridding. I've got this marker right here, this per, this ruffle here, and the bottom of this ruffle here. So I'm going to take, I'm going to start with this ruffle here and get it to flare out. Get a little bit more linseed. And I'm just like rubbing this color going across and it kind of like goes up, not kind of, but it starts to move a little bit higher and that illusion makes it look like it's round, okay? There we go. And it gives it movement. There we go. And I'm just going to rub this white, the zinc white in here. I'm blending, blending this white. That's making it look pretty. Now the darkness that I Thought this was the um, the olive green in here mixed with the the yellow the Naples yellow um, has given this a really nice shadow and I like how that's coming out. So I'm gonna let these I'm gonna let that sit and if you're wondering if I'm building this paint I am especially on the ruffles. Um, when this piece is being shown on the wall at night, I want any white to reflect and pop. So I'm 
having this that that white in there is going to be really really pretty okay we are going to do a little bit of work here and her the top okay one two three still like quite far so putting a marker here and then we'll put in a marker right here and so those are my little marking spots looking really pretty. Let me see if you guys can see. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next session of this painting series.